guys that was fun on my stairs um, welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to the dc zoo i'm going to the dc zoo and i'm so excited um so this is also called the smithsonian zoo whatever um i'm super tired if you can tell i'm super tired um i haven't been posting a lot i know that and it's because i've been really sad like <laughs> i don't know if you guys remember my video overcoming things probably not i'll link it down below but i've i get sad sometimes and i was writing about I'm an English major. When I was at school, I was writing about some really, really sad stuff. Like, I was writing about things that... <sighs> terrible things. And it just made me kind of upset when I came home. Like, I came home and I couldn't get out of the funk. So, yeah. Haven't been really recording anything. But Christmas was good. New Year's is in <laughs> two days. I think it's the 30th today. So, yeah excited to go to the zoo excited to get out the house and you know do some different things and something a little bit more happy than what i'm used to okay so if you haven't noticed the quality difference i'll be filming on my camera for most of 2017 hopefully because i got this little adapter thing for christmas so i can attach my sd card to my phone so i can you know edit videos um if you haven't seen my drama with the samsung nx mini it's a lot. Um, I have videos on it, though. I'm just trying to get out of this funk that I've been in. I just feel like writing essays about sad stuff and... You don't know how much your major is going to affect you until you're in it. Like, I feel like nursing majors, they go into it knowing that, okay, I'm going to see a lot, I'm going to feel a lot of different ways, but I feel like an English major, I didn't really know that I was going to be writing about things that I really connected with on this level. I didn't know that I was going to have to write about things that hit close to home. I thought I was just going to be writing about whatever, <laughs> a research papers and stuff like that, but I didn't think it was going to be things that really set with me, so I'm just trying to get out of that. Um, the holidays have helped because my family, I'm super close to them. I'm an only child, so no siblings, but um, I've been with my cousin, and my cousin is like a sister to me. She's great, and you know, my family is really close, so that's good, um, but I've just, I've just been in such a, a mood that I... I'm really, I really need something, a pick-me-up. I've been doing retail therapy, so I feel a little bit better because who doesn't feel better when they're shopping, right? So yeah, um, so no OOTD for real today, but I just have on black Uggs. What are these? Nike pants. This is my Helly Hansen jacket, which, if you don't know, is a really big DMV brand. Um, DMV meaning, like, Richmond, basically Nova. Nova, D.C., and the part of Maryland that's northern maryland i guess the one hour circle outside of dc is nova that's what i live in um and then i have this red heli hansen jacket that looks like ah looks like this and these are really popular in nova and dc well nova is dc um well it encompasses dc <laughs> anyway um encompasses not in companies what am i saying i'm so tired um yeah heli hansen is a really popular brand because i don't know why it's just been really big here but it actually is a norwegian brand it's like a ski like north face kind of but it's just popular for no reason so the reason that we actually went to the zoo today was to use up our membership we actually have season passes which get us free parking and everything and um, a couple other benefits so we really enjoy going to the zoo i know a lot of people feel a lot of different ways about it but I mean, I enjoy the zoo, so that's exactly what I did. And this is the newborn baby panda for the DC Zoo. Um, this is outside, this is another view of the elephants. We've actually seen deer trapped in the elephant enclosure at night on our way out. I don't know how that works. The elephants were inside though, very confusing. I didn't even know DC had deer, honestly, but these are Asian elephants. And then this was feeding time and checkups for the, what is he? Uh, I don't remember. Knowing. Yikes. I was not prepared for this. <laughs> I just don't want my hair to get wet as the snow melts. That'd be nice if it didn't. Oh. This is the outdoor bird exhibit. The indoor bird exhibit is being refurbished, and we went through that for just a minute. That's where that training was and the checkups were. So this is just the outdoor part. I really, really love this. I think it's so beautiful, especially during the fall. Um, it's very peaceful and quiet out here. Moving on to the small mammal house, this is probably my favorite house, one of my favorite houses in the entire zoo. Um, they just have all of the cutest animals ever. Um, th the one that I'm getting ready to show you guys is my favorite. I don't remember what it's called. Honestly, I don't read up too much on the animals. I just like to look at them because I think it's peaceful. 
This clip is just the aardvark moving around. Every single time I come, he's always fast asleep, so I was so happy I got to see him move around today. That was so cool. No. It's wild. I was not prepared for that. I was not prepared for all this snow. <laughs> it's pretty though. It's very pretty. Here's that someone has got their jacket on the hood. <laughs> That's a good alternative. These are so cool. These little overhead lines that the gorillas can climb on right there. Those are so fun. I haven't seen them do it in a long time though since the summer. My biggest worry is that they're going to pee off of it. That's not very exciting. All the lights are up for the nighttime show. The nighttime zoo lights. I think that's supposed to be a... I don't know. Maybe a groundhog? Yeah, what is this? Think tank. Woohoo! Let's go see. This is just a really cool diagram of all of the uses of a cow on a farm. I didn't know there were so many things you could do with the cow, so that was pretty neat. I always think that that thing is real, Mom. I don't like that. I feel like it's... Hit that Halloween night, a jump up. I don't like that. It's a dummy, right? Yeah, it's a dummy. I don't like that. What's in here? Hamsters. No, I wish. I said Hermit hamster. crabs. Hermit crab, I meant. Ugh. Look how they're eat. nasty looking. Ew. I don't know what that is coming out of his I mouth. I how you want to paint their shells and not even ask permission. Because they don't have a say. Because they don't really have a mouth that they can say anything out of. I don't have a say about the painted shells. I wonder what the animals call us, because we call him a lion, but what does he call us? Does he call us human? Does he know what a human is? Yeah, I don't like the wind either. What the heck? That was strange. That was very strange. And now I go sit down and just take a nap. You take a nap? After all that noise. You know. Oh. Alright, girl. Alright, that's what we're doing. On to the next thing. The lights are starting to turn on. Cute. What's that one? Of course. I don't know what to say about this seal besides that he had a lot of behaviors memorized, like he was from SeaWorld or something, so that was pretty neat. The kids were making him do cool stuff. We went back to the car, I had to get a nap. The lights are on. All of the zoo lights are on. I am so excited. I have never seen this. So we're going to walk the entire zoo one more time. I just needed a nap though. I could not stay awake. I was so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. I'm so tired from doing nothing. It's wild. <laughs> So while we were walking through the zoo, we noticed that a lot of the exhibits are actually closed to the public. Um, you can still go through the mammal houses, like the small mammal houses, the reptile houses and stuff. And then the visitor center, which is what this was in, had gingerbread houses, cider for sale, wine for sale, all types of fun things for the kids to do. Um, and then it finished off with a train, which we'll show in the next clip. Thank you guys for watching. Um, have a great holiday season, even though the holidays are kind of over. Um, bye, guys.